Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 99 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. Um, today I've been busy. <laughs> been busy. Um, well, I was busy all day. <laughs> I just got, uh, I got the ability to come and play. Um, uh, I've been playing for uh, and I I updated some of my machines. Look at these guys. <laughs> uh, my multi-block structures for my crafters. I've got a crafting monitor, 64k storage, and four crafting co-processing units. Uh, and I got three of these on two sides. Uh -oh with the little monitors facing in so I can see them because <laughs> uh, they only have the monitor on one side. The rest are kind of grayed out. So, there we go. I also added an Emmy chest for rides and I think that you can pull things off of it. Um, this Oh, it's already going in there, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Can't, does it just pull stuff off? Or does this store it? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> uh, it looks like it didn't store anything on there. It was probably just putting it in and then putting it on the disc and then taking it and putting it into storage. So, yes, and I updated my little uh, molecular like, pattern providers and molecular assemblers uh, to, uh, because you can, you can only have so many channels, right? Uh, all I have right now are these uh, smart cables who can only have eight channels uh so i built it eight tall and put uh, a molecular assembler on each side to <laughs> if this is way better than uh than when i had it um because it was only like two or three molecular assemblers per pattern provider, whereas this one has four for each one. So that's that's way better. Uh, this is how Jake had his, only he had his like together in a super duper ginormous multi-block structure with <laughs> some dense cable running through it and like i said i don't have dense cable yet i haven't i haven't got that far <laughs> i'm trying though um i didn't really do anything over here that's the same um but i did get my uh crystals all set up um, right now it's back stuff so it's not really doing anything it's filled up these barrels um and it's not it's not doing anything until I actually use something and these are all hooked up to the system through this little storage controller right here with the storage bus on it um, and these just um, deposit things where they should go <laughs> and uh, stuff so yeah um, if these you know, 2K barrels aren't enough. Um, I can always upgrade those, but uh, for now, I think uh, 2,000 of each crystal <laughs> should be plenty. Uh, I might need to update that later and maybe increase the size, but I mean, I don't know what the first stage of a copper upgrade does, but I mean, 2K seems, seems fine for right now. Um, I would definitely like to, oh, I also, <laughs> I didn't say this, but I set up a couple of 
material stonework factories to get some basic stuff over here. I don't feel like moving it <laughs> from one place to the other, so I'm just going to have my own for this uh, this space. Um, so I got glass coming in here. Uh, this one's just cobble because I have no cobble over here, so any of my recipes just, uh, they don't come out. I have to put cobble into the system, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this one's doing silicon, and this one's just doing stone. Uh, so, and I got upgrades for all of them, and they're just going into an ender chest. So, no channels there. <laughs> I could, uh, like, just tuck that away wherever I wanted. Um, so, have have this little guy right here. Check him out. We got six molecular assemblers wah -ha -ha. Hmm. I do I do see a recipe that I'm missing though um, I think that's called um, what's it called oh, dude I, this is like so annoying. <laughs> uh, it gets bugged where you can't, if you try to type in here, it types up in the, the crafting grid and not where it's supposed to. Well, this is fine too. Fine. Um, I need, where is the, the dually wop? Nope, that's not it. Here it is. The cable anchor. <clears throat> um, I wonder, do you, how do you change it? Is it only exact mode? Okay, maybe that will work. Uh, just telling it to use alternate items. So I, I believe that would be the same thing as saying don't use exact mode. So hopefully it will use it will use our guys up. Doink. We can we can see that real quick. Um actually I think I got I got a bunch. Um because I don't think I have a recipe made for the little doodad. Yeah, see I'm pretty sure I've got the knife. Um so to see if I made the knife. I did not make the knife. Oh, maybe it got used up when I made all these. Hmm. Where is it? Is it this guy serves for cutting knife. There you go. Okay, now let's try it. Um, okay, so it made some, uh, but now how about if it makes the next one? Is it going to use? It is going to use. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Or that's what I was hoping for, that it would use this guy after he has a durability. So, boop. There we go. We got cable anchors in there. All the stuff is coming in. I'm getting anxious. 
about getting this space going. Uh, because I have to, in order to install my elevator that I want, I need to be able to access the top up here, which is further up. Uh, but I, I need to need to clear out all all of my mob systems over here, and maybe I mean I don't know where the chunk boundaries are here. Uh, it's not something I was taking into consideration when I was building this. Um, but I guess, you know, I did, I did all right. Yeah, everything's like in its own chunk. Except for this guy. He's like sort of in two chunks. Uh, yeah, I've got to clear all of this stuff out um and relocate it i gotta figure out where i want to relocate it to that might be just temporary um, yeah and then i've got to dig all of this stuff out um yeah <laughs> it's it's gonna be a lot um and i'm not sure sure how like what what the first step is oh oh sure i'm glad i have uh, oh i thought i had feather falling i think the angel ring gives you feather falling or something I'm not a certain one. Oh, is it the belt? Plain Strider Sash? I don't remember. Something's given me St. Paul because I just fell a long, long ways and I didn't take any damage. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Turn that off. Oh, oh! I'm down here and look at this. I have my fourth uh, turbine set up going off of my one reactor over here. Check it out. Uh, I had enough cyanide to get it going. It's like it's up to speed now. Oh yeah, so... <laughs> That's 60,000 FE a tick that I'm making. So pretty cool. Uh, it looks to be doing fine. I was able to use the entangled block. Didn't work like how I thought it was going to. I had to actually entangle just this pipe and this pipe. I couldn't entangle. I mean, I could entangle the fluid port, but it wouldn't do anything. It wasn't like I put the pipe on it and made the uh, pull guy here with my uh, configurator and nothing came out. <laughs> nothing came out. So, uh, but the putting, uh, entangling the pipe actually worked. So you can actually see the pipe in here spinning around um when i was on the the fluid port it it was um what is the the purple and black block that is this um uh, checkerboard style <laughs> that it is just it didn't have an image uh so i don't know if it's just not finished yet and it should work or if it shouldn't if it's not working and it should don't know uh, but I was really happy about that 
So now we're getting a uh, 60k, I think, a tick up here. Um, it's only 47. It should be 15 on each one of them. I wonder if that's counting. Oh, what I have to Yeah, that's 15 here. 15 here. 15 here. So and they're all on. The fill, fill. Oh, look at that! I've had this thing on the whole time, and I don't, I didn't have a plug on there. <sighs> there. Now it should be fixed. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe I did that. Uh, so, yeah, I still haven't, I still would like to get more done in here because this, this thing has two blocks inside of it. One, uh, one induction cell and one what else is that called uh, uh one induction cell and one provider so ultimate um <laughs> i am excited uh to get back to getting into some pneumatic craft too. It, now that I have my AE system, I can start automating uh, some of these things so that I can auto craft pneumatic craft. Because that would be pretty darn cool. Oh, is this thing still? I can also uh, upgrade my machines up here. <laughs> um, I can upgrade all that over there. I really need to get some sort of liquid storage, uh, mass liquid storage thing going on uh, because this this is messy. I don't like it. Uh, Plus, having tons of liquids hanging around, is it always looks cool, right? So, um, what do we want to do now? Um, I've really been thinking of, like, uh, completely redoing my thing depending on how well the elevator goes uh when i get it installed i was thinking of putting some stuff in this area <laughs> and making uh this guy nothing you know more than just a decoration actually utilizing it uh, and i could have its cables running everywhere <laughs> That's the dream. The, the dense cable base. Make all of your walls out of dense cable and controllers. Well, controllers for the ceiling. Just have a small 7x7 seven seven room. <laughs> It's all made of controllers and dense cables, it's everything. Anyway, uh, let's see what what kind of trouble are we going to get into today. Um, I do want to set up some of the basic um, auto crafting for AE2, and that'll make going forward with AE2 a little bit easier. 
So uh, what I want is to maybe get import and export buses, storage buses. Uh, we already have like the formation cores uh, done and all of <clears throat> All of our processing pattern, our processors over here. Uh, we got up to 256k. Uh, so yeah, I think the import and export and storage buses would be a really good step uh, going forward. Do, 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 do. Um, so let's see, what do we got over here? Also, I did install the two more 256K storage cells. Uh, so we have them in case we need them. Hopefully we won't. Hopefully we won't. So let's look at uh, bus. Here we go. We got storage bus. Um, boop. I wonder, do you get the, I don't want this one. Can I go back to it? I want the, the square one. Oh man. Why you do that? No, it keeps, do <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, maybe if I do it... No! Okay, maybe it just, it just wants that. But I think that's an extra step. So do I have... Do I have an interface? No. I thought I had, so I don't have the actual interface recipe, so I need to do that recipe. You do that one. Boop. And then, maybe this one. Okay, let's put our recipe away in the interface. And then we can make an interface to put in there. Oh, I don't like it that it cleared my search with the autocraft. That's kind of, uh, okay, so now we can put that in there and that gets us the storage, but, oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess I could have, it probably would have worked with the item substitutions on like that. Uh, but I don't know. So, uh, there's our uh, Emmy interface. You can go in there. And this guy is our storage bus. So let's get the import bus. Boop. And the export bus. And a boop. So import, export, and we got a storage bus and a level emitter. We got uh, all kinds of stuff up here. So uh, storage bus, import, and export buses. Nice. And we got the level emitter. Got all our crafting, auto crafting, and stuff here. Our terminals and such. Oh, I already had the import bus here. Okay. I did not know that. So we don't need that one. Let's put you there. And yeah, get rid of that one. Nice. Boop. All right, let's look at uh, why. 
What what kind of cool stuff? Oh, it was the IO port. Oh. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's get the IO port here. I should just have, um, I don't know, uh, a level emitter to, to make, make my stuff for me. Oh, the storage cell shuffle. Um, do this. Put you here. Put you there. This is what you can take stuff. You can take stuff out. Always active. Move to output when empty. Yeah, um, that's how I use to take things off of the disks and put them back into the system so that they get put where they belong instead of loading in the system. Like, I probably have some stuff on this disk already that probably can be stored over there, but it's not because it was, like, in a transition. <laughs> uh, so. Like, um, how come there's, like, 31 sand? Oh. I remember I put some sand in there so I could get the seeds um, going and then and then I decided uh, instead of putting it into the system I would just get a material stonework factory to, put, to supply all the sand that I needed for, uh, for these. Uh, so, so yeah I thought that was um, probably better the better way to do it than to just pull it uh, from the other system somehow. So sand, huh? I don't know that I will actually get a system for more sand. This is a block block. I should put it over here. There we go. Uh, everything has been going pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I did get the, uh, the Infinity Range Booster so I can get to my Shift-G crafting terminal for AE2. Which, which I can do that anywhere, which is pretty cool. It's way better than, you know, just increasing the radius a little bit. <laughs> um, there are, there are some things that I remember being in AE2 that I don't, I don't know. It's been so long since I used AE2. I don't know if this is still a thing, but there used to be like an AE2 builder type machine. Um, but I don't remember what it was called. Hmm. I don't know. I always wanted to like use it in one of my Skyblock worlds because it sounded like it would you could like actually build it down to to bedrock level. It wouldn't just make a flat surface. 
um, it would go all the way down to bedrock. Uh, so I don't know if that's still a thing. <laughs> like what's the spatial anchor uh i would have to really i guess go look at that and see biometric cards patterns hmm yeah because i don't know it might be these um spatial pylons and spatial IO ports might be it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find that out because um, that would be pretty cool. I always, um, I always like the builders. there's a spatial anchor I don't know uh, but this is all the stuff I have over here most of it's done like I've already got these plastic sheets I already did like the biodiesel and LPG the lime laser lenses the induction casings and such I uh, still need my elevators. I got all these lights. Uh, the inscriber, the controller, the drives, I the mean, terminal, the heat sink. All this stuff has been taken care of. Except for that one. Oh yeah, you might need to look at that as well. Got all of this taken care of. And the Amatron tablet. Oops, what was that one that I just removed on accident? I don't know. I have no idea what I just removed, but anyway, <laughs> uh, it was the elevator and something else. I don't, I don't remember. So I like did all of my ideas and, and I really don't know which way to go now. Um, I have good, decent auto crafting capabilities right now. I could uh, probably go for a while before I need to expand that. Uh, but since I'm going to be moving a lot of things into my base, uh, I would really like to be able to send the dense cable somewhere else and set up like another subsystem or make bigger, um, bigger auto crafting uh, arrays. That would be, that would be nice, but I don't really have a lot of room for that over here. Uh, so I could either go down or I could spread out around this whole level, <laughs> whatever I want. I, I have plenty of room to spread out. That's what I like. <laughs> uh, so, um, I will probably be trying to um, relocate some of my farms uh, from the mob system, to maybe temporarily disabling them and then setting them up once I cleared out the whole area. So yeah, I probably that's probably what I'm going to be doing so that I can get everything in the base working just right <laughs> oh that's the dream um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye